a KQED HD production. I'm Sean Lani from the Exploratorium. I'm a curator of outdoor works, and we're here at Upper Fort Mason looking at the Golden Gate Bridge. It's a wonderful view. We built this exhibit based on a question. We knew that something as big as the Golden Gate Bridge must expand when it gets warm. We knew it must move in some way, but we weren't sure how. So we chased that question down by actually instrumenting the bridge. We put a GPS locator on the middle of the bridge and cross-indexed that with six other units. So we had a very accurate reading up and down on the bridge, and we correlated that data that we collected, the up and down, with the temperature rising and falling with a NOAA weather station just on the other side of the bridge. So we had weather, and we had the temperature, and we had wind speed. And so what we found was this wonderful dance. As the temperature rose during the day, the bridge started to sag. And then as the temperature dropped off as the sun set, the bridge picked back up. And so what was driving that was something called thermal expansion. As the metals get warm, they expand. So those long cables that hold up the bridge deck, they expand and get longer, and the bridge sags. So one of the unexpected things we found was there's actually a two hour delay between the temperature rising and the bridge sagging, because the bridge is such a big thing, it takes that long for the temperature to affect the metal and the metal to sag. So we built this scope so that you can see that. So if you come by on a warm day, you look through this scope and you see the bridge and you see the traffic moving. And we have a reticle here, little lines on the screen. And you can see whether or not it's below or above average. So if it's a, if it's a hot day, you can come by and expect the bridge to be as much as 11 feet down. It, the, the total excursion is 16 feet, total engineered. So it can be low as that or as high as five feet, depending on the temperature, depending on the load of the bridge. As the temperature goes up and down, the bridge goes up and down. And it essentially turns the bridge into a very slow, massive thermometer.